My name is Courtney Cox, and I play Gail Weathers in this new version of Scream. When Scream came out, it was just such a unique film. The horror genre had kind of, it felt like it had been played out a little bit. And all of a sudden, Kevin Williamson writes this script where he, you know, poked fun at other horror films, and there was a lot of humor in it, and it was so scary. And um, I just think it was a big part of pop culture. So I think people, that first scream will, I think, let, you know, be around forever and ever and ever and be always looked up to and looked back at as one of the great ones. I've done four screams with Wes Craven, who is this incredible man. And um, after seeing Matt and Tyler's work and hearing great things about them, I was like, oh, wow, this is what a perfect way to reinvent this movie. And when I read it, it was so much in the vein of the first screen, knowing that Matt and Tyler were directing this and after seeing their film, they're just incredible. And they are, they really know how to balance humor and horror and, um, and reading the script, it was so similar in tone to the first one. I got really excited. It's, um, it's really scary and it's funny and it's, it's unique. When I read it, I was like, oh, I like when Gail is really cutting and, and competitive. So I, that was my only note, just to make sure we keep her that way, because there's a lot of emotions in this film, and a lot of heightened emotions, I mean. Um, and things have changed, like Gail, she's moved to New York, she works, at, uh, um, she works on a morning show, she's become more successful and more sophisticated, and she's no longer with Dewey. Wes is such an incredible man, and it's, it's like, I don't know, for some reason, it always makes me emotional because he's so sweet. Anyway, he is an incredible director, but he's also an incredible human. And he is, um, you know, he's, it was literally life-changing for me in so many ways. But like silly memories that I have, I remember the first time that I had to really scream. I don't know if I had been stabbed or a gun, you know, been shot, I don't remember. But I just remember saying, well, Wes, what happens? Like, you know, you've directed so many horror films. What happens? Like, how do you do that? What does it feel like when someone, he's like, Courtney, I don't know, it's never happened to me. I was like, all right, thanks. That was, that was it. <laughs> like, he would just, he's such, such a great sense of humor. And the last scream, I remember we got really like slap happy on the set. Something made him laugh. And I had this video of him, I was filming him. He got the giggles. And to see Wes Craven, you always think of him as like the, the king of horror. He is so silly. He couldn't stop laughing, couldn't stop. And you'd see him just kind of try to break, not break and be like, okay. And he wouldn't stop. And he's just so cute. He's just the sweetest man. He was silly. He was serious. He was loving. He was caring. He was almost like a father figure in so many ways. Um, he would sit and just like share his wisdom. But he'd also love to go out and have a glass of wine and be silly. He just, um, he was just an incredible person. And, and director. And as far as Scream goes, he was great at balancing the humor and the, and the horror, but he just, there was something about the way he would film. You would always see him leading up to something. You're, you're like scared before you were scared. It's just the way he would do certain camera angles or, you know, you'd, you'd see him focus on something that you are like, oh, shit, what's gonna happen there? What, why are we focusing on that? And then you'd be scared by something else. So he'd throw you off by his visual um, things or, you know, lead you into it. He just, he had a great visual style. I want um, them to see this incredible cast. Um, I want them to, you know, I want them to, to laugh, to have the same kind of um, interesting callbacks. I want them to, they're, they're gonna experience a movie that's very similar to the first one. It's scarier, probably. It's, you know, it's, it's how many, what, it was 25 years ago? So yeah. it's up to date in a different way, even though Scream will always, be classic. This is just like a an updated, cool, hip, um, scary, funny movie. This movie should be seen with an audience because you know when you're afraid of something and you know when you're screaming, it's even scarier when you're in a theater with 250 people and everyone's screaming. <laughs>